Philippines. <laughs> Live at the Scullery Theater from the entertainment capital of the world. In the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast with your host, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Taliaferri, and music by yours truly. Tonight's guest from ID Tech, Daniel Chabnik. From Vegas Life TV, David Tupaz. University Regent, Sam Lieberman. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who prefers his balls extra inflated, Mr. Trey Tayafele! How's everybody doing tonight? Great! Great crowd tonight, yeah. Thank you for that wonderful intro. Speaking of, speaking of deflated balls, or inflated balls, uh, who here has been watching the football and noticed that the Patriots' balls have been a little bit um, deflated, right? Yeah. So uh, it, it just released that the NFL investigated the New England Patriots and found that 11 of their 12 playing footballs have been underinflated. Under league rules underinflated, mm -hmm. right? Uh, today, uh, Tom Brady held a press conference and said that he didn't alter his balls in any ways and <laughs> that he likes the feel of the balls that he had. And why would he change the way he likes, the, he likes his balls? All right. Um, and uh, he, he also said that um, we shouldn't be talking about something like this. It's not as bad as, as ISIS, right? But we're talking about Tom Brady's balls. I think it's a pretty big deal, right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, OK. <laughs> that joke is funny in the Philippines. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> uh, in other news, the street, the street artist Katsu painted a portrait of Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, in his own poop. Uh, get ready. For, these jokes are going to be crappy. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it wasn't the highest selling painting, but it was number two. Oh. oh. Did you hear it was also, it was a regular piss casso. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow, wow. Also, the, the, the artist got his supplies from Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that stinks. Things. Uh, when asked how, how he felt about the portrait, Zuckerberg said that he was in the dumps. Yep. Oh. That's a good joke to end on when no one's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we got a great show for you guys tonight. Tonight is the night. Tonight, we're going to set it off right with DJ Lenny Love. Alfonso. Alfonso. <laughs> This is Bonnie with My Vagabond Soul, and we want to know, what is your dream and how are you chasing it? Follow us as we interview dreamers of all walks of life, entrepreneurs, musicians, artists, and much more. Hear more about this interview with Craw and the Salvation Highway Band. Well, songwriting and playing music is my passion. I want to inspire others that come from struggle to chase their dreams and one day make it become a reality. For this interview with My Vagabond Soul co-founder and artist, Kat Ford. I started writing children's books to encourage kids of all ages to chase their dreams. We believe in chasing our dreams and want to inspire you. So visit us at myvagabondsoul.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Because now that you know your dream, it's time to start chasing it. Thanks for coming out. We have a lot of fun props hanging out in the studio tonight. So our first guest is Daniel Chapnick from ID Tech. Daniel, come on out. Woo! Hey, thanks for being here. Woo! Thank you. Good to be here. Yes. Hello, so, everybody. So we're here to, tonight to talk about ID Tech. And so that we don't have to talk about it, we've got a little video, right? Awesome. Save our, That's even save better. Save ourselves the time.
right, so that video gives us a little glimpse into ID Tech and, and what goes on behind the summer camp. So currently, you guys are actually hiring for your, your UNLV summer camp, correct? We are. We're hiring summer staff for this summer at UNLV. And actually, we have over 100 locations nationwide. So if anyone wants to get out of Vegas, um, we'll house them and feed them if they want to come down to Southern California or Northern California, uh, but here at UNLV as well. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. So locations all over, and then it's just like a summer camp for kids. And what are the qualifications if someone wants to, to teach at one of these summer camps? Um, fluent Klingon would be helpful, or at least conversational Klingon. <laughs> uh, if you've won any of Ben Stein's money, that would be cool. I'd love to talk to you. Um, no, but some tech skills. Um, our classes gear around video game design. Um, robotics, photography, videography, programming, so anyone that has some skills in that. Really great for students who have the summers off and want to make some money in between semesters. That's a great fit for us. So it's the full UNLV or the typical college semester that the summer camp goes, correct? Uh, during the summer, right. So we'll go from mid-June till late July. Okay, great. So what are the responsibilities if someone wants to be an instructor? If they feel they're a little bit qualified, what are they getting into? Sure. Well, we want people who have great judgment, who know how to be really safe. That's really our top priority is keeping these kids safe, especially because UNLV is an overnight program. Uh, someone who knows how to make camp fun, someone who can play some games with these kids and be a mentor and um, connect with them. And then someone we want our kids to come out of these weeks with a newfound passion and love for technology. So we want someone that's able to pass that on to them. OK, great. So if someone wants to apply to be a counselor, how do they go about that? Uh, they're going to go to idtech.com forward slash jobs and then click on the summer jobs link and there'll be an application that they can fill out from there. Uh, we also have some full-time positions which are all in California. Okay. So when do you start hiring for the summer? It's immediately? So if they go on now, they could hear right yeah, away? Yeah. We're hiring and interviewing now. So um, absolutely, the sooner the better. Okay, great. And are you guys on social media? Uh, we are. You can find us on ID Tech on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for being here, thank Daniel. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Right on time and everything. Yeah. Take a break and step out to the dazzling lights. Start where it all began. Try your luck on Fremont East. Listen to live music as you make your way down the street. you'll collide and connect with amazing people. Later in the night, you'll find a variety of restaurants ready to satisfy any appetite or craving you may have. Pick any bar, lounge, or cafe. Have a craft cocktail while the kids go down the slide as you relax and unwind with your favorite drink. Explore the shops and galleries, you'll find curated items just for you. You'll love downtown Las Vegas. Show the world. Visit us online at lovedtlv.vegas. Hey guys! So up next we have a very special guest. We have um, our huge support that that made us huge in the Philippines, actually. Vegas Life TV is here, and the very own David Tupaz is here. David, come on out. Yeah. Hey, thank you for being here. Go ahead and have a seat. We're Mabuhay, by yeah. the way. Mabuhay. That's a greeting in the Philippines. Mabuhay. Ah. OK. It's like viva. It's like viva la France. We're huge in the Philippines, did you hear? <laughs> yeah, actually, I just saw a segment that was uh, emailed to me, and they were showing clips of the different shows that are being aired there, and I saw a downtown podcast. And we're so the best I, one, right? You're the funniest. See? <laughs> I knew it. Great. So we're already famous there. We just got to work on it here a little well, bit Well, it's not more. just in the Philippines. You're also in South Korea. You're also in Japan. You're also in East China. Do you hear this guy? You're talking about... This is incredible, right? Yeah. <laughs> And then you are in 500,000 households through Cox Cable. Yeah, that's so amazing. Right and we're on, so right appreciative on. of that. So tell us a little bit about your involvement in, in Vegas Life TV. Well, I'm one of the partners. There's three of us. And uh, we're the only local Las Vegas network 
uh, that's actually doing a lot of uh, shows and, and filming and, and uh, other stuff that's all done here in Vegas. Vegas talents, Vegas people, you know, the community itself. Yeah, and focusing mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. our community. And we're, it's, it's, it's an honor to have you guys with us. Really. Thank you. Well, we're really honored to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And you're also big in the Vegas community, just to kind of sidetrack, oh. that um, <laughs> you're actually the only designer in Vegas showing at Las Vegas Fashion Week. Is that, is that correct? No, uh, I'm the only established couture designer in the city and the state that represents our state and Las place. Vegas in New York Fashion Week, LA Fashion Week, Seattle, Portland, Florida, you name it. Learn it. Yeah, so that was way more complex than I had it. So we're excited to have you for that too. Yeah. You're like a Las Vegas socialite then in that, in that sense of it. Well, probably in that industry, uh, you know, I... You know, I do a lot of things here, you know, for the Latin Grammys, for all those events and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So I know Vegas life is already big. You're the only local network, mm -hmm. and you guys already have great ratings. However, the Downtown Podcast writers are really excited about this deal, and it's really motivated our team. So our writers have gotten together and have some ideas they want to pitch to kind of give you some inspiration so that, you know, you could maybe take... Vegas Life TV to the next level. Mm -hmm. So we actually want to bring our writers up and pitch some ideas to you. How does that sound? Well, I got to see this. This is inspiration, <laughs> not direction. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. So can we bring the writers up, please? Are we ready? All ready. So. All right, B. There you go. Okay, so here's my idea. Are you all ready for this? It's a game show. Here, take this, Joey. Go ahead and pour that on yourself. We're going to do a test run real quick, okay? The show is called Who's on Fire? All right, you have 30 seconds to find out which one of your loved ones has been doused in gasoline, just like Joey just did, and then we're going to go ahead and test run real quick, promise, and then we're just going to... Joey, stay still. Come here, come here. Joey, it's a test. Oh, just Joey. B, B. Oh my gosh, no. What? No, <laughs> Lenny. Oh my god, no. That's not a good idea. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Next. While I'm here, I have an idea for a show. Okay. It's six pals together and living in New York City. They go to this coffee shop. They all hang out. Joey, that's already a show. That's friends. No, no, no. It's, no. it's, it's pals. No. Lenny, no. It's, not nice. it's already been done. No. I like that one, Joey. That was good. I like Lenny. No. Tincest. Tinder with your relatives. No. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 so oh. Censorship. <laughs> Donovan, what do you have for us? Well, you already know, like, I'm totally down with, like, fondue. I fondue everything, right? Mm -hmm. So what about a show we call, like, Will It Fondue? And star of the show, Will Smith. What about that, huh? No, yeah? no like that's chocolate? not, no, like, Lenny, no. No, that's not funny, though. Well, then fondant. Don't. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dylan, okay, you have yeah. to have something good for us. Oh, of course I do. So okay. the thing is, we spend so much of our time sleeping, a third of our lives. What about a show called Sleep With Me? It's never been done in a reality no, show. No, no, that's boring. No, Lenny, no, no one wants to see that. That's like, that's your dating life, no. <laughs> I get it, Dylan. <laughs> okay. Sweet 16 and pregnant, where rich girls get knocked up on their 16th birthday. Lenny! Oh, really? No. Oh, oh I'm so, they're, they're gonna get better, I can tell. Okay, new idea. It's like big ideas, late night fun. There's a lot of hosts, we have a DJ. It's really fun, but we have really smart people on the show and it, I do, yeah. I, I just don't think that would work or really be popular or, or catch on. But it'd be a local show. No, I mean, no, Lenny, no, we're not going to, no, sorry. And then, so I think we do a show about the sexual tension between you and Dylan, and we call it Downton Podcast. No, oh, God, I can't stop with train as bad jokes. All right, so back to pals. You know, maybe two of the characters, they will, uh, you know, be an on and off relationship, you know. Uh, maybe they go on a break, you know. That, that's Ross and Rachel from Friends. From accounting? From Friends. No, from no, Friends. Pals. No, pals. I'm, I'm, Think about it. I, I'm pals. sorry. No. I'm, no. No. All right, so they're better than this. I really promise. They, I think that you stressed them out. I think they were, they're really excited with all those numbers you gave them and being huge in the Philippines. But I hope that those ideas gave you some inspiration to maybe go the opposite direction because I really believe in them as a team. I'm sorry that that didn't really come across. Oh, well, you know, creativity is open to everybody. Yeah, I mean, there's so, no limit in creativity, I think, yeah, uh, whether it's you. good or bad. 
Thank you, and we, and we really appreciate that, and we appreciate all your support, and thank you so much for being here, David. We really well, appreciate it. Well, thank you. It. Thank you, Downtown Podcast. Right. Thank you. Up next, we have Dylan with Sam Lieberman. The Internet, the world's most amazing tool to stare at adorable cats, like all day. But it doesn't have to be that way, really. Tracky helps you connect, collaborate, and get stuff done. It's a social way to organize your personal and professional life. Inspire the people you work with. And inspire yourself to enjoy more of life's little things. And when the work is done, Tracky helps you plan and play. Gather your friends, have some fun. And make sure your plans are awesome. Fun, easy. Nobody needs to worry about bears this time around. A long day and a fun night deserve the thwack of a high five. Welcome to Tracky, the tool where everything and everyone in your life works together in harmony. Connect, collaborate, done. Sam, we're excited to have you. So our next guest is passionate about education and passionate about nonprofits. So please put your hands together for Sam Lieberman. Thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It's great to be back on the podcast. And I was very excited with all the talk about the reality shows before. Maybe there's some hope for me. Yeah. Oh, I think there is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's plenty of reality shows out there. You yeah. can, and you got the guy right here in the audience. What yep. You be good. Um, okay, so you know what? You have a life that really is worth knowing about. So let's start with um, the disability that you became and um, really what it is that uh, you've accomplished with your life. Okay, well, I've been in Nevada this summer. It'll be 35 years. And I came to go to UNLV, and I was there for a very long time. I graduated after an extensive number of years, more than 15, less than 20. Um, <laughs> and I graduated with lots of different credits, more than 200, and less than 211. So, so you love learning, uh, huh? My, my final degree was in social work. I got very involved with the political arena, with the nonprofit sector, with the disability community, and most recently as a member of the University of Regents, University Board of Regents for the Nevada System of Higher Education. And my first meeting is early in the morning, so. Okay, well that's great. And you're so you you said you bleed red on the uh, on our pre-interview, and I, you're a local Nevada. I like former UNLV President Don Snyder. Um, do bleed rebel red, <laughs> but one of the. <laughs> you know how to win over the audience. Yes. You got it. Yes. One of the uh, great challenges and opportunities of the Board of Regents is to be able to work statewide effectively and to build bridges between the North and the South. Okay, so and that, that's what I wanted to make sure I talked about. But in an in a entrepreneurial sense, one of the hardest things to do is get people to work with you, especially people that have tension um, with each other. So I want to say, like, for somebody who's tried to bridge the um, different parts of the state, somebody who's worked between Democrat and Republican lines, like, what are some lessons that we can use in our everyday lives and for startups to kind of get people to work together that usually don't, or build trust in somebody who's new to saying they're gonna do something? Well, my, my focus has always been on consensus building. Years ago, I would dream of bringing people together who only knew me, who didn't know each other, and bring them around a table to solve problems and make the community better. It sounds like a reality show, but it's really how I live my life. And uh, we're going to apply it to doing great things at UNLV, at the uh, uh, colleges and universities throughout Nevada. And I've done it um, in the political arena across the state and in various nonprofits. I've been on the Board of Help of Southern Nevada for over 25 years. Um, I'm involved with the Alzheimer's Association. And because of my own life experience, I'm involved with the disability community through great organizations like Nevada Parents Encouraging Parents and Easter Seals Nevada. 
Hmm. Okay, so you just see a table and you're like, wow, I gotta put some people around this right. thing. You uh, convene Good different thing. temperaments, talents, and convictions, and different types of thoughts. And, if the and people you come out with a, a better process because there's more diverse people involved. Now, what if one guy says the other guy's stupid? Then we educate them that they're not. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good idea. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so tell me more about uh, what you've accomplished. What I've accomplished, I think that I've been able to, because I was never able to do competitive after school sports, my uh, social skills sort of went haywire a long time ago, and I be able to began to collect people and bring people of multiple generations together. So I have friends, associates, and colleagues who are much younger than I am and friends who are a little bit older than I am, but I can build bridges, build collaborations, and I think that's what it's about if we're going to move our community forward together. And that's certainly what the Board of Regents is to make uh, higher ed an opportunity for students, faculty, staff, and alumni to get degrees, to stay in Nevada, to become part of the workforce, and to raise their families here and start the circle again. So when we were doing our pre-interview, one of the things I was asking about is like, what's kind of like a call to action we could leave the audience with? And you said that it was to get involved with education. But before we you know, run out of time, I want to talk to you about like, how can people, I want to give you some time to explain that. Like, how would somebody actually get involved in education if they're passionate about it, which I personally am, actually. And I'd like I, to I was know. very involved on our campuses as a student, as a faculty, as a volunteer, as a member of the Alumni Association. We asked for your time, your talent, and your treasure. And you can give that to uh, the department on a campus that is associated with your major or something that you want to see thrive in the community and you want to be part of, we need to engage uh, multiple aspects of the university and college system with the community. And the way to do that is to bring com community members to the campus and to bring uh, campus leaders throughout the community. Okay. And then for the final question, um, just you've had a really... Um, unique experience throughout life, right? Like you talked about um, not having a disability, but, uh, or how did you phrase it? You said like, but being, um, I, I don't write at it, but it was like. My disability is part of who I am. Yeah. That is how I define myself. I also say that I uh, do sit down comedy, not stand up comedy, because it just <laughs> wouldn't be productive any other that's way. Good. Yeah, that's good. Um, and uh, I think it's all in, the attitude and all in uh, the mental uh, way you look at things. You asked me what, um, what makes me want to get up in the morning, what motivates me. Right. And I think that it's uh, enhancing the community through nonprofits, through higher education, and making everybody, no matter what their limitations may be, uh, do the best that they can with the tools that they're given. And that's what I've done um, throughout my life and for the last 35 years in Vegas. Good. Well, I think that's a great optimistic message to end with. Thank so you, people can check you out on Facebook. They can go to Facebook and just type in Sam Lieberman, bring yes. up your page that way. Yes. Um, anything else you'd like people to know before we um, end the show for today? No, just please... Uh, Get out of your comfort zone, try something new, uh, take a chance on a new organization that you feel passionately about, get involved uh, with the political arena, and make a difference in our community as the, po as the downtown podcast has and will do. All right, thanks for the plug thank there. You. That's good. So thank you guys very much for coming out. Everybody, uh, you can always come down to the Schoolery live in downtown Las Vegas every Thursday at 9 o'clock. Check us out on downtownpodcast.tv. And thank you guys very much for coming out. We'll see you next week.